How you doing? Good. What's going on? Waiting on my Uber. Waiting for your Uber? Yeah. You have an idea I can take a look at, man? No, you don't. I don't. I'm not doing anything wrong. Well, you're sitting in front of a closed bar and I can I'm see you in I'm waiting on my Uber, my friend. Let me see your ID. You're about to see a man being arrested by the Wheat Ridge Police Department. The officer's name is unknown. However, the police department defended his actions, citing a law that states that officers can stop and detain intoxicated people. Now, part of that, the protective custody, officers can detain someone if they feel that they're a threat to themselves. This man clearly knew that he was waiting for an Uber. This town has about 31,000 people, and more than likely, the officers do what they want here. It's like that in smaller towns. What these cops probably want is for someone to drive so that they can get a stat and a little pin from mothers against drunk driving. Now in the video, this is the tavern that he was at. You're going to notice in the video that the lights were still on and it was only about 25 minutes after closing. It was actually verified that he was waiting on an Uber, but the cops will do what they want. How you doing? What's going on? Waiting on my Uber. Waiting for your Uber? You have an idea I can take a look at, man? No, you don't. I don't. I'm not doing anything wrong. Well, you're sitting in front of a closed bar and I can I'm see you in I'm waiting on my Uber, my friend. Now, I guarantee you that this officer is going to make detective after that last statement. No. Okay. We can do this one of two ways, sir. We can okay, do I'm this being, one of being many ways. I'm being respectful to you. I'm sitting here waiting on my Uber. I am doing nothing Show me on wrong. your phone that your Uber's coming. You know what? I want to break out my camera right now. Go ahead, mine's running as well. I want to start well. filming you. Mine's running as well. I am not doing anything wrong. Okay, well. I'm doing everything right. Not drinking and driving. And why are you, why are you messing with me? I'm not messing with you, sir. You're sitting yeah, in front no, of a closed you bar. Are. You're sitting in front of a closed bar. You are messing with a Navy veteran that is waiting on an Uber. Sir, I'm going to ask you one that more time. There's nothing you to, wrong. Can I see your ID? No, you you're, can't. You're drunk in public. Now, I checked over the Colorado state laws, and there is nothing on the books that says you can't be drunk in public. I'm not drunk in public. Give me your ID. I'm giving you a lawful order. <laughs> you're not getting anything, dude. Okay. Stand I up. I am not doing Stand anything up. wrong. Stand up. Stand up. Now, what you might not see from the surface is this officer is pathetic. He applies some pain compliance by twisting this guy's arm around. There is absolutely no reason for this guy to be in handcuffs. Stand up. What are you doing? I'm sitting put here doing nothing. Put your hands behind your back. Put your other hand behind your back. Set your phone down, sir, and put your hand behind your back. I'm sitting here doing nothing. Waiting on the Uber. Too big to say protective me? custody. Huh? Okay, all I asked for was to see your Uber. I'm doing and you nothing. Want to argue and you're intoxicated. I, okay, I don't think uh, I don't think you're making good choices. Sir. One of the choices he was making was bringing his phone out so he could record the activities of this officer unlawfully, illegally detaining him. Which is the sir, best choice, sir? All I was trying to do was verify. The worst choice uh, would be sir, driving, sir. All I was trying to do was verify your Uber. Was that right or wrong? Well, if you Unlock me, I'll show you the Uber. Well, that's what I, how many times did I ask for that, sir? Huh? <laughs> sir. Yes, sir. If I have I done anything illegal. Well, you're intoxicated in public. I'm sitting okay, on a bench waiting on right, my Uber. at a closed business in a high crime area. Waiting okay? on my Uber. So, sir, sir, I have no idea who you are or what you're doing, and it's my job to find out. So all I did was wanted to have a conversation with you, and you won't give me any information at all, and it's obvious that you're intoxicated, right? That is why I am waiting on an Uber. Right, and how many times did I ask you to see your Uber? I tell you, my body camera. All right, well, unlock me if it's that big a deal, and I'll show you my Uber. And all you want to do is film me and argue with me. I have done nothing wrong. I'm sitting here minding my own business. Sir, I'm, True just, or doing, I'm just doing my job. You are fucking with a Navy veteran. Sir, step over here. Just sitting step here minding here. my step own over business. Here. Step over here. Sir, you can't even walk. I don't know if any of you ever put anybody in handcuffs and then tugged on them 
trying to make them go to your patrol car. You can clearly make it seem like they can't walk. I, I was, I'm sitting you here minding my own you business. You can't even walk, sir. What are you guys doing? You can't even walk. You're what? in no, 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 you're no, a no, yourself. no, no. I'm sitting here minding my own business. Yep. What are you guys doing? I'm waiting on my Uber. Sir, you're going to go to detox. You can't even walk. Oh my God, okay. dude. You I'm can't even me walk. and let me know if I can walk or not. Well, it's pretty obvious that you can't. You guys, are you serious? I have an Uber coming. I have an Uber coming. Double locked, those are not double locked. Guys, seriously. One thing I want to point out here is if you look at his hands, they're very red. Those cuffs are on way too tight, and the movements that he's doing is an involuntary movement when circulation is cut out of your hands. I have an Uber coming. I have. I was sitting in the chair, not Sir? bothering anybody. Sir, I was trying to be reasonable with you. Oh my it's God, obviously you're, dude! You're I am a Navy custody. veteran. Okay, thank you for your service. And I'm just sitting there minding my own business. Right at a closed business. And so waiting like on my Uber. Sir? And all I asked, all I asked was for you to verify it. All I asked you to show me it on your phone, and I'm good with that. Okay, but you refused to do that, so you, you couldn't do that. You guys are, I mean, really, you okay. can do this to a Navy veteran? Sir. I'm sitting on a chair. Have a seat in the car. Oh, my God, man. Are you guys serious? I've done nothing. I have no idea who he is. Do you have any weapons on sir? No, I don't have any weapons on me. Just hold on for 30 seconds. I have no weapons on me. I mean, I can't believe you guys are doing this. I seriously can't do a Navy veteran. Are you really doing this to a Navy veteran? I'll grab his phone. I was trying to be reasonable. Code for it. I'll be going to be talk in a few minutes. James. James, listen to me. You didn't drink and drive. Thank you, you made for the that. right choice. And you guys come up and just can shake me down. James. Navy veteran. James. Combat medic. James. Talk to me. I mean, I'm just sitting there. Waiting on my Uber. My Uber is Is there be anybody there sober that can come get you? You're not listening. You're not, sir. I'm I asking. called an Uber. Well, you can't the call. Uber was two you, minutes away. You can't. You before can't. You shook me down, James. We've been here for ten minutes, and they're not here. You can't call Uber. Now, I'm not sure if this officer knows how Uber works, but in these low population towns that breed tyrants just like this one here, sometimes Uber's fifteen and twenty minutes away. He's Where's got your phone. My phone. He's got your right phone right there. Look it up. Whether I call an Uber or not. You can't call them on the phone. Did you do it through an app, or did you? I didn't them. do the Uber app. All right, so how do I get into your phone? If they're coming, man, I'll release you to them. But if they're not, you're not and leaving us much out, choice. Uber. Listen, fellas. A green button. I am a former combat medic. James, thank you for your there, service. How do you, uh, and I'm not going you, to lie to you. How do I go? He's uh, in I'm it. In. Uber. Where do I'm, I search that? I don't have this. Go to the Uber app. Just scroll through till you find the Uber app. Business. Is he coming? Five hours. Okay, he's James. I respect James. you guys. James. I respect James. you, James. James, listen to me for a minute. I appreciate that. It says it's five minutes away. If he's there in five minutes, we will release you to that Uber. Okay. Okay. Please let me out of here and tell me I didn't. When that. when the Uber gets here, we'll do that. Now, do these two pathetic cops make any sense here? Either he's too intoxicated or he's not. Why don't you let him out of the car? This is punishment. This is penalization. This is an unlawful detainment. This sergeant and this officer are pathetic cops. Did you have a good time tonight? Just my own business. No, I just asked oh. if you had a good time. I didn't ask what you were doing. I mean, I mean, just an average time. At just an average time? Are you Uber? No. I got you, your guy's over here. Is he okay? Yeah. Okay. No, he's just, he's sitting in front of a closed bar. 
Uh-huh. Hunched over a little bit. He's doing what? This is when f***ing cops lie. They love to make up their own narrative. He just had a good time. He's not, he's not creating any problems, but as a police officer, I drive by and see somebody hunched over on a bench outside of a closed bar, and yeah. that's a clue. We're going to get you. Yeah. Yep, that's right. James. The Uber driver got him home without incident and what could have been avoided? These two idiot cops. He did an interview with the news and this is what he had to say. I was just simply sitting here waiting on an Uber. I believe in the, you know, the Bill of Rights. I didn't feel that, it, you know, I had, there was justification for me to show my ID. I wasn't committing any crime. I would not just hand over my ID when I am not committing any crimes. You know, that's why we have rights in this country. That's, you know, they're called civil rights.